What is going on everyone? It's the print house and a couple days ago I made a big big mistake as I was running the belts on my Voron 0.1 guys It cost me a new belt because my kit now only came with one belt and my belts were too short You cannot add belt length to your belt. So anyway guys, this is what I did I read the instruction manual and it told me how to run the belts and somewhere along here uh, This is what it says Run the belts first, then tighten it. Let's, uh, where is it? I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to find it on here. Anyway, guys, without wasting any time, basically what the instructions say is run one belt through the entire length of the printer, remove the belt, and then cut another belt of the exact same length. That helps with tensioning, but it doesn't tell you what the correct length of the belt is. It doesn't even give you a rough estimate of what the length of the belt is. This way you don't make a mistake. So, of course, naturally, what I did was I stuck one belt into my maker block, like so. Of course, I have two in here now, but I stuck one belt into my maker block, and then I screwed it onto my linear rail mount, and I ran my belt all the way around the printer. I then took the other end of my belt, and I lined it up with this hole. I figured this is the center of the X carriage and it's going to be the right length. Well, sure, yeah, this belt, the way I measured it, is the correct length. The problem with that, guys, is you can now, it's so tight, you cannot add your other, you cannot add your belt onto uh, the, uh, the carriage or onto this onto this belt mount. It's just not possible because the length of the belt is too short. So you're fighting, tightening the belt and then putting the other maker block on in order to hold it. It's just not possible. Guys, it doesn't tell you how to utilize this hole correctly. So today I'm showing you how to not make the same mistake as me. And guys, I promise you don't wanna make this mistake. You don't wanna wait two or three or four days for a new belt to come in the mail and you don't want to spend the money. So anyway, guys, basically the solution to this is once you run your first belt, run it all the way around and take that belt and go ahead and run it through the center of this hole. Let it go out about, I don't know, five or six, seven different uh, clicks. I don't know, about a couple inches. It doesn't really matter. And then from there, chop off the excess. Once you do that, you should have something that looks like this. One maker block has your belt tightened, and then the other side of your belt has coming through the end. Then what you wanna do, go ahead, remove your maker block entirely. When you do that, you can then pull your belt away from the printer, pull it out of every single section, and then line it up with your other half of the belt and then cut the belts at the exact same length. Guys, I'm gonna do that right now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you can see this very orangey brown belt is my new belt, it is much longer. Now guys, I know that these two belts are only about one to two inches short. So I went ahead and just measured out a brand new length of belt, which is just, uh, I mean, this is about this is about four inches longer, uh, just so I'm guaranteeing that I have enough length of belt. Um, I will put the length of this brown belt on the screen right now so you can do the exact same thing as me uh, if you want to. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and string this belt up and show you what I mean. So once you get your belt strung, the idea is you know the length of both belts because the Voron 0.1 has two belts that are of the exact same length. So I've got this taped up. I'm gonna go ahead and string the belt through that center hole like I was talking about. So at this point, I now have my belt strung through this center hole and uh, I know that I have this much excess and there is absolutely no reason I will ever need this much excess. So I can go ahead and cut off about this much belt and then I can remove the belt that I just installed, and then I can lay it up against all of my other belts like I already did, and then I can chop a belt of the appropriate length. So first, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm going to, uh, I want to leave myself a little bit of slack so I do have something to work with, but uh, I don't need this much, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off about 
this much. Now I will remove the belt and I will measure it up against my spool and cut one of the same length as this. Okay, I now have two belts that are of a near identical length. Um, just to refresh you guys, I measured this belt a little bit longer because every single Voron 0.1 is going to be slightly different. I really didn't think I was going to need this much extra, but I did not want to waste belt uh, again. Um, so anyway, uh, now that I have two belts that are nearly identical, I'm going to put both of those belts on one side of my mount. I'm going to screw the maker uh, bar down and then I'm going to run both belts once again. Okay, so we now have the printer belted up correctly, and sorry for the hideous noise. It hurts my ears too. You might not be able to hear it with the single direction microphone. But anyway, the printer is now belted up, and the belts were relatively of equal lengths, and so you have different little pulley pulley things here uh, they can pull it on and guys don't forget you need to do your maker bar on this side as well go ahead and tension the belt as you wish uh, and then you can uh, like I said, go ahead do your maker bar and then snip the rest of this off as you seem fit as you see fit uh, but anyway guys that is how you should measure the lengths of your belt Guys, I'm gonna have, like I said, all the lengths of the belt on the screen. You've probably seen them. Um, anyway, what you see right now, right here, is the final length of my belt. Guys, please do not go by this length for your printer. You will most likely have marginally different sizes, um, but please look at this length of belt, and if your belt is not that length, don't cut it, because you did something wrong, most likely. Uh, or if your belt is not around that length. But anyway, guys, that is all I had. I hope this video saved you some money because I had to spend an extra $15 to buy a new belt. Hopefully, you will not have to do that. Anyway, guys, that's it. Please like and subscribe. I have so much more Voron content once this printer is done. Anyway, guys, I'm out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.